I didn't see you guys there. Welcome to my home. Today's video is the start of my home series, which I know a lot of people have been waiting for. If you don't already know, Steven and I bought our home about a year and a half ago, maybe a little bit more, and we've been working on it ever since. This is my absolute dream home. I just look at it every day and I'm like, I can't believe this is my house. If you have been with me from the beginning, then you've been with me through three houses, this being the house that we bought. You started the journey with me in El Huevito, which was like somebody's garage turned into a room house. And then we moved to a little bit of a nicer condo, which I also really loved until it was like really dingy and dark. It was dingy and dark in there. And now to this beautiful dream home, which is like something that I still pinch myself every day that this is my house. I'm very grateful. I know a lot of you are interested in how I've decorated things, home decor in general. So instead of doing just like a quick little home tour, I wanted to break this up into a series because there's just so much that I want to share with you guys where I got everything and break it down into rooms. Uh, I hope you guys are excited about this. I am, I love these kinds of videos. So with all of that said, pour yourself a glass of wine, join me, and let's go ahead and tour my kitchen. So the very first area I wanted to show you guys is the breakfast nook. I have always, always wanted a breakfast nook. I think they're so cute and cozy. This house is more of a modern farmhouse style. That is the style. I know I get that question a lot. I still wanted to have that homey farmhouse feel, but with a modern twist. So we have this more cool chandelier, I would say. It's not as like farmhousey but it's a nice contrast between everything else we have going on. It's not centered because uh, <clears throat> they didn't center the electrical in the house. I'll fix that later one day because it does kind of bother me, but this is actually from Pottery Barn and I really love it. I think it gives like this nice elegance to a more casual sitting space. This table is actually from Restoration Hardware and it's nice because it is more of like a rugged table. I don't get worried about it getting scuffed or scratched distressed is in. It's not something that's really hard to maintain. And since this is our main dining area, I like that about this table. I really recommend that your main seating area is not something that is very fragile because that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Katie could tell you all about that with her table gate. We don't talk about that. Let's move on to the chairs. These chairs are so pretty for the space. They're from Serene. Is it Serena and Lily or Serene and Lily? One of those is right, but I will link it down below because I think they're so cute. They have a very casual vibe to them, which I enjoy. This weaved texture really ties in all the other types of earthy weaved texture vibes I have going on throughout the house. All right, so moving on to this area over here. Well, the cushion came with the house, but it was more of like this velvety material and it was so faded, it almost looked blue. Big tip make sure the stuff that you get does not fade. So you always wanna get that indoor outdoor material, I suggest, especially if you have dogs or anything by a window. Shades we had custom made from the shade store, it gives a nice clean, crisp look. Um, you guys will notice that my color scheme is very neutral. I've never really been that much of a colorful person. I know people like to push their color aspirations on me and tell me to put more color, but it's just not my vibe to have a lot of color going on. And what I like about having a more neutral color palette is that if I do decide I wanna be adventurous, I can add pops of color very easily with throw pillows for spring, summer, which I probably won't do, just like I don't change my nail polish color, and when I do, I instantly regret it. I keep it pretty neutral, but you know, you could always change it up if you want. The beautiful pillows that you see here are also from Restoration Hardware. And I will say Restoration Hardware is kind of a nightmare because nothing's ever in stock and it takes forever to get something and it's also kind of expensive. However, they do have this material that is very useful if you have kids, if you have dogs. It's like an indoor outdoor material. It's very sturdy. It's called perennial. Cannoli and Harper jump all over these pillows and they're still perfectly white. so. I appreciate that and I invested in those fabrics when it came to areas that we sit on a lot in the house and you'll see that with the other room tours. So I got this dish from Crate and Barrel and these are also salt and pepper shakers from Crate and Barrel and this vase is from Home Goods. Uh, I love going to Home Goods, you guys know that's like kind of my jam. I feel like they have so many affordable things that I find in more expensive stores and you can just get them for cheaper. So this bowl is nice because you can fill it with fruit, lemon, whatever you want, honestly. 
let's move on. All right, now we have the kitchen island and this is kind of the heart of the kitchen. This is where we all sit down, gather, eat around. I know I said that was where we mostly eat, and I guess we split it 50-50 between these two areas because my family is big and we're always here and we're always chatting and sitting around this island eating. My mom usually likes to stand. It's kind of like where we gather, right? I feel like everyone's kitchen island is where they really gather. And I love this one, first of all. I don't know what kind of stone this is. Do you, Steven? We should ask. Maybe I'll get the answer and put it in the description box. Then we have these stools, which are also really cozy. I bought these at West Elm, and I also spray painted the legs of these black. Actually, Steven did. They came like a more charcoal gray color. However, if you are in the market for chairs similar to this, I have now regrettably seen them at Home Goods. Similar. I'm upset about it, but I'm letting you guys know that they do have styles like this at Home Goods. You just have to kind of keep searching. What I love about this island is there's a lot of storage space. Even underneath where these stools are, there is a ton of storage space under there. Up here, we have these really cool industrial light fixtures, which I love. These also came with the house. We didn't switch these out. These are the one light fixtures that were allowed to stay. I loved these. I thought they were just really cute and cash. I love to keep everything pretty minimal. I don't like a lot of clutter in the kitchen. It's actually my one place where it has to be super clean or else I get really, um, I get pissed. Yeah, I get pissed. <laughs> so uh, I don't keep a lot out. I do have a few things though. This is the fruit bowl that we have. I love how earthy it is. I'm an earthy bitch, okay? This is from Crate and Barrel. Love it. Fits a lot of fruit in here. Got the goods, got some pineapple. I fucking hate papaya. It's in there. I don't eat it, but we have it. Over here, we have some lovely vases. Sometimes I say vase, sometimes I say vase. Depends on how bougie I'm feeling. Yes, because I feel like vase is a little bit more bougie. I'm gonna call it vases though. I got these from Home Goods and I love them. I think they were such a good find. I was so excited when I got these. Home Goods is like a hunt for me. It's like when I find something at a good price, I just get so excited. It's such a thrill. But I found these two matching sets and my mom actually made this arrangement. These faux flowers are from Crate and Barrel and I've always wanted this like branchy, sticky vibe aesthetic. So I think it's so beautiful, earthy with, you know, I love white flowers. And then also I don't have to keep buying fresh flowers for this area because before we got these, I love to have fresh flowers here. And although I do keep fresh flowers throughout the whole house, it's nice to have a nice centerpiece that you only have to pay for once. You know what I mean? Moving on. So over here we have this, what is this called? It's a sink. Do you ever use this fucking sink? I'm not allowed to put dishes in it, that's yeah, what I know. Yeah, you keep trying to put dishes in the sink even though it's not the dish sink. Actually, it's really convenient having a sink in the island because God forbid I have to walk over there. And a soap, also from Home Goods. I actually really love the bottles that Home Goods has, and then you could refill it with whatever soap you want and keep reusing it. But I do love these glass bottles, and then you could just buy refills of any particular soap. This totally goes with the farmhouse aesthetic. <laughs> Honestly, I have to add some comedy, you know? I'm not like Stepford, Desperate Housewife. What's her name? Brie? I'm not Brie. I'm not Brie. She's kind of a savage bitch though, so I don't know. Let's head over here to this side of the house. All right, we're over here now. I have this gardenia plant that Steven got for me. It was really nice. I didn't have the heart to tell him it's more of an outdoor plant. So <laughs> we take it outside for, you know, some outdoor time every once in a while so that it will bloom. This pot is from Home Goods. Again, another great find. And actually this pot was really, really expensive. And I think my mom got them down to like $11. I don't know how she did that because I had gone to get the car, but she did and she was very proud of herself and I'm very proud of her as well. It's very heavy, good quality. So over here we have the dishwasher, which is great because I don't like doing dishes. I know some people like doing dishes. It's like a therapeutic thing for them. Not for me. Moving on to the sink. This is a beautiful farmhouse style sink and I love it. I remember when we first saw the house, the kitchen really just like wowed me. I didn't mention this, but I loved this um, brick texture that we have here. It gave me like kind of like a cottage vibe. I just, I love it. It's very homey and I love that detail in the house. This is actually something that we installed. This was a chrome faucet before. We ordered a black one, which I like because it popped all the accents. The kitchen's very white. I don't really love a lot of color, but I do love things to have a little bit of contrast. So we added that. The same shades from the kitchen nook from the shade store. 
I love these Roman shades. They're just so clean. It's like my little cute corner over here. Very proud. Again, home goods. This little uh, stand, I actually was looking at some home websites and I saw a stand like this and it was very, very expensive. And I was like, what? For what? Then I went to home goods the next day and I saw this and I was like, you could even use this if you're making a cheese plate or serving dishes and you want to elevate stuff. I think this is really cute. Once I bought it at Home Goods, I started noticing it even more in different home design photos. People put salt and pepper on top of here, your olive oils and stuff, like whatever you want to elevate. I just think it adds a cute little touch. And then this is a container that I recently got at Crate and Barrel and I think it's so cute to have here by the sink so that when you do dishes, you can take off your rings and put them in here while you're doing the dishes. And then over here we have this Winnie the Pooh little trinket. This was from my friend Lisa. She gave it to me years and years and years ago. It says, we'll be friends forever, won't we, Pooh? Asked Piglet. Even longer, Pooh answered. And I thought it was such a sweet thing. I keep this here and it's been with me throughout all my moves. Of course, over here, I have my Google Home. I'm obsessed with this because anytime I'm cooking and I just want to hear a song, I just tell her, like, play me this song. I usually play Nora Jones. I don't know why I love to play Nora Jones in the kitchen. It's kind of like my vibe. It just makes me feel happy, or I will play the song from Matilda. Send me on my way, on my way. Send me on my way, on my way. Send me on my way. I love that song too. So those are kind of just like my happy vibes. This over here is my knife set. This is actually a gift from my dad and he gave it to us before we moved here and thankfully it matches our house perfectly. Over here I have all my cutting boards that I use. This isn't even all the cutting boards I use. I have an obsession with buying cutting boards. I don't know why, I just really love cutting boards. They're chic, they're cute, I love them. I have so many in here. It's like, look at all these cutting boards I have in here, some placemats. I think I have more cutting boards. I don't even wanna show you guys because it's kind of like sick. Over here, I have a rug. I need to put those sticky things under it so it stops sliding around. If anyone knows where they sell extra cute kitchen rugs, please let me know in the comments down below because they are actually really hard to find. Runners, they're all so ugly, I'm like, what? The hell? These are from Home Goods, both of them. So if you see the other one over here, it's different. It's right over here. And now onto the stove. This is such a beautiful stove. I love it. It has all these like cool features. This came with the house. It's a Thermador stove. And it has this beautiful skillet here where you can make pancakes, grill your vegetables here. It's just really nice flat surface. It's a six stove top burner and it also has a beautiful oven here, two-sided. Hello. You cook a lot in there? I do not cook a lot in here. I actually make a lot of cinnamon rolls, the Pillsbury ones that come like you just have to throw them in there. I was actually gonna have some of those cooking while I was filming this. Because oh, I... honey, you babe. Oops. Oh, honey, you babe. I tried. Yes, <laughs> clueless, because I thought like, you know, might smell good, not that you guys could smell it, but I could be like, oh my God, my, my fucking cinnamon rolls are cooking. Oh. And then over here, I remember when I first moved in, I'm like, what is this? This is a pot filler. Water comes out of here so that you don't have to carry the pot from the sink to the stove. You can just place it over wherever your pot's at, turn it on, and it fills it with water, and then it tucks away really nice. Over here, I have this container here. It has flour. I don't use this very often. I'm not sure why I put flour in here, but I think it was because Steven and I went through like a pie making phase and it's nice to have flour somewhere. So why not in this cute container from Crate and Barrel. This is the beautiful salt and pepper holder. It's for cooking. So you kind of just pinch and Steven loves this. I got this for him. I saw this at Crate and Barrel for hella monies. And I got it at uh, Home Goods, so that's nice. I also got these two containers at Home Goods. This is for the cooking oil and, and the red wine vinegar. My mom makes the best salad dressings with this. And I just thought it's cuter to have them in these containers than the bottles that they come in. And then this is just for your ladle when you're cooking so it doesn't get your countertops dirty. This is from Crate and Barrel. These I keep over here because they're the cutest things ever. So for my birthday, Steven threw me a Beauty and the Beast birthday party because, you know, I love Beauty and the Beast. My friend Lisa got me the salt and pepper shaker and aren't these the cutest ever? I'm such a Disney freak. And I show it in little minimalistic ways throughout my house, not like a crazy you know, Disney everywhere, but just little nods to my favorite movies. Then we have these containers. They're all a part of a farmhouse set from Crate and Barrel, so I like that they match. I keep all my wooden ladles here. 
I have my two cooking books. This one was a gift, 50 Shades of Chicken, because y'all know I'm a dirty ass chicken. 50 chicken recipes bound to be delicious. Mm-hmm, look, at this. see this guy cooking with abs? That's me right there. Oh, he gonna eat me up. Too much, too far, okay. And then I have my Magnolia table because who does not love some Joanna Gaines, okay? She is the shit, I'm obsessed with her. Look how cute she is. For our baking, Steven and I make our pies, so we have our rollers. Here I have just a little container that I got from Aldic. These are real, these are from Trader Joe's. I love having touches of flowers throughout the house. Here is another cutting board because like I said, I'm obsessed with cutting boards, but also I love to have it leaning up against this area because it covers the plug. That's really why it's here, if I'm being completely honest. And then lastly for the countertop space, we have the most important item, the coffee machine. Okay, this is um, my bloodline. This is my lifeline. This is everything to me. I used to have the Keurigs, but honestly, I don't really care for Keurigs. I think the coffee is kind of weak. I love normally brewed coffee. This is something I got at Crate and Barrel. I'm sure you could find something like this at Home Goods because I found the other one at Home Goods. I thought I could serve some cheeses on it, but I think it makes a really cute little setup for a coffee station. I don't even think I would ever really show the inside of my cabinets. Half of these are empty because there's so many, but I will show you guys this cup. This is my Ember cup, the best investment I've ever made. It's very pricey, but it keeps your coffee Hot. Whatever temperature you like your coffee at, it'll keep it at that same exact temperature the whole time until you're done drinking it. And it's the best thing ever because I hate picking up your coffee and taking a sip and then it's like cold all of a sudden. I, I spit it out, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then lastly for my kitchen, I have the refrigerator. Again, it's a Thermador refrigerator. I will say nobody respects my refrigerator etiquette in this house because I had it nicely organized like Chrissy Wicks showed me on her Instagram. If you guys don't follow her, I love her. She does a lot of house stuff and she organized her refrigerator in the most aesthetically pleasing way. And I'm that type of person. I love to have my like veggies with veggies, fruit with fruit. And I had it all organized, but nobody in this house respects my needs. So it's a hot ass mess in here. Like what the hell? Everything's all mixed condiments with juices. Like, no, I'm gonna close this now. <laughs> and here's my freezer. Again, no respect in here either. There is some ice cream though. If you guys don't know about these from Trader Joe's, now you know. This, these ice cream sandwiches are the shit. I'm actually about to eat one. Also from Trader Joe's, make My bad. Ben and Snap, honey. Also from Trader Joe's, these mango bars, cream bars. Oh my God, it tastes like you're eating the most delicious mango of your life. Right. Okay, and then we have this little nook here where this is where I enter the house for the most part. It's the garage door and we have a laundry room over here, which I will show you guys that in another video because it's currently getting redone. There was no cabinetry or anything in there. That's getting worked on right now and I'll do a video on the laundry room after. Here we have a little coat rack and this is also from Home Goods. And I thought it would be so cute to hang like my favorite jacket here, which I usually tend to grab and wear with everything. So we usually also have the reusable shopping bag hanging here. So when we go grocery shopping, um, you could hang that here. And then our cooking apron right here. This is from Crate and Barrel. This was a gift when we went with NARS to St. Bart's and I love it. I think it's super cute. And then of course my favorite jacket. And then down here, we just have a basket with all the dog toys. They have way too many toys. Honestly, um, I don't know why I have a random bag of balls here, but we do and then of course over here We have the dog bowls and we just put them on a placemat. This is from again crate and barrel I'm a big crate and barrel home goods person. Oh, and yeah, of course their food isn't there because cannoli's on a diet So I have to take away her food and give it to her only when it's time to eat and then over here We have the butler's pantry I'm not going to show it to you guys because it's just like kind of a hot ass mess right now and also I'm going to be doing a little bit of construction on it to add Wine racks, because wine is very important to me and there's nowhere to hold it here. I need some racks. So I'll probably be filming the before and after of that as well. Lastly, we have this bar area here. When we first moved in, there was like some asymmetrical shelving going on. It almost kind of looked a little like slapped together. It was not cute. I didn't love it. So I took it out and I thought this was the perfect place to do a giant mirror for last looks because I leave the house through that door over there for the garage. You always like to see, make sure everything's good, make sure you don't have a nip slip. You know what I mean? Very important to have a mirror. We didn't have a mirror anywhere on this side of the house except the bathroom, which is on the other side. So I felt like it was necessary and I think I made the best decision because 
I love, love, love this mirror here now. And this mirror is from Restoration Hardware. It was just like the perfect size for this area. Again, this was originally a bar area, so there is a mini fridge here. We keep all of our cold wines in there, um, spritzers, things like that, some waters for guests. But look what my mom did. She staged this beautiful area here. I think it's so cute. Since this is like kind of our bar area for the moment, we just have this here. Steven loves whiskey, so it's kind of like the whiskey station, if you will. And then over here, an arrangement that my mom made. She actually used plants from our garden. So all of these leaves, olive branches are from the garden. The only thing that she got was um, these plants from Trader Joe's, the flowers, but everything else she uh, picked from the garden. I thought that was really pretty. All right, so this was an awkward space for me because this built-in is not centered to the wall and it also doesn't go all the way to the edge of the wall, which I thought was interesting. I'm very about symmetry, so I had this empty space that I needed to fill in, I guess. And I thought a plant would be perfect here. Hopefully the plant starts to grow kind of framing this mirror. I think that would be so beautiful. Um, I, I talk to it every day and I let it know like, please just like kind of go this way for me. That would be awesome. Thank you. This is a plant we picked up in downtown LA at the flower market and it's a real plant. It's a fiddle leaf plant thriving. It's doing really well. It must like this area. It gets a nice amount of sun and we planted it in this planter here. This is from Aldic as well. I love the tones and like natural finish of this planter. And then we also covered the top so that you don't see dirt. I love to put real moss on top. And when you need to water it, you just kind of take the chunk off and put the water in there and you can cover it back up. I think it gives it a nice finished look. This plant to me always looks fake, but it is 100% real. It's, it's doing very well. That is it for my kitchen tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like this type of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you're kind of feeling it, you're vibing with it, you wanna see more of it. I'm really excited to finish the rest of the home series. I feel like this is going to be kind of a big series, I think. There's a lot that I wanna share with you guys, so I feel it's gonna be a pretty meaty, meaty series. And that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Will you stop licking my ankle? Mommy's trying to work. This is what being on a diet does to you, you know? You just start eating this in my life. All right guys, so now that I've had several glasses of wine doing this home tour, kitchen tour, whatever the <laughs> tour, I've never really been a colorful, getting a little drunk, I think. <laughs> Cut that out. These fucking broken hairs, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs>